Welcome back, everyone, to more Pools of Darkness. So, yeah, we definitely lost some levels, but that's okay. First things first, we need to get the fuck out of here. So let's work on doing that. Um... The spectral servant still appears. My dear mom, the exalted High Lord Marcus is not here, nor Lady Petra. He is gone, I deem to Hades. A superb career move. Milady left, not feeling herself. Hardy Har. The tower shudders. You cannot rest at this point. You can't do anything except get out of here before the tower crumbles upon ye. You enter the Temple of Transformation. Before Moander's vestal pan vessel, pandemonium reigns. Shrieking worshippers flee in every direction. The vessel, it moves. Bane, help us. Before Moander's vessel, pandemonium. Okay, same thing. You stand in sick awe before the vessel of Moander. A vile flood stops anyone from entering its eldritch orifice. The vessel reels in space, shaking all the tower. Slick fluid splashes all over. Amid the confusion, behind Shao struggles to join you. Jump on, you fools! What do you do? We jump. You leap the gap to the teetering cup beneath and is an abyss. Shao also flings herself onto the gyrating vessel. With a jarring thud, the vessel rams the tower and shatters it. Clinging to the quivering cup, you watch the red tower slide into tremendous ruin. Shao exerts her will. The vessel of Moander ends its wild hangman's dance. You all help each other to relative safety, and then you contemplate your outcast state. The cush will have eventually, and we can enter Moander's pool of darkness. In the meantime, let me tell you what I know about Moander. The body of the vast dormant god floats in its own dimension. Until recently, only a few devotees knew how to find it, but Marcus uncovered the secret for the Lord Bane. Bane has instilled one of his own creatures deep in Moander, Tanital, a powerful Galabrizu. As long as he lives, Moander will be a deadly peril to the realms, and poor Flam. She laps into silence. There is nothing to do but wait. Gradually, the flood of sick Ikor dwindles, revealing a pool of darkness. You arrive at Elminster's camp in limbo. He notices your arrival and approaches. When Elminster sees Shal, a mix of emotions flit across his face. They used to bang. She greets him warmly, then turns to you. I owe you my thanks. Perhaps I should have trusted you with the truth about what Marcus had done to me, but I was afraid you would not believe me. Without me, you might have been at the mercy of my other self. All my power, none of my spirit. Elminster speaks softly. It is peril to study evil, lass, as I have often told ye to no effect. Heed me now, Sean Moanda and his dark kin. Go back to thy people who need thee. Shao weighs his words. Perhaps the old sage is right. In any case, I will take his advice. Heed well what I said of Tanitel. Look me up in Flan. Farewell. Please accept this. I think you will need it more than I. Guess what we just got, y'all? That's right. A Vorpal Longsword. I think it's only plus three, but it has a chance to instant kill anything. So we will definitely be giving that to Ron Stock. He's going to give up his plus four longsword and trade. The Vorpal longsword you can also take to other realms with you. It does not just get destroyed, which is also sick as dick. We get some elixirs of youth as well. You can just go ahead and use those, right? 26. So Ember Dew definitely was level 20. I think Ronstock was 18, maybe he was 19. I know Fidget was level 17. I can tell his hit points went down one. He had 106. I think um, Clot, Chiral, and Lilith are all good though. So where's your weapon? What are you using? Scimitar. Let's see, that's 1d8 plus 15. I think it's the same as the longsword. Yeah, they're both 1d8. Um, but we can trade this to Fidget. Since he's our th thief, we like to give him the scimitars. And 
and he can upgrade that. Here we go. 1d8 plus 15, 1d8 plus 15, 1d8 plus 14, but with the chance of instant killing shit. I'm not sure what that chance is, but we'll find out. With the floor, she disappears. The mark is tower gone. The pool back is suspended in the air. I will lower a rope from it back to the realm. How the fuck may I help thee? Well, we need the free healing, which is nice. Okay, so Ronstock's lost no levels. She had lost a level, and that is restored. Fidget is good. I believe that's it. We'll double check. Yeah, no, they're all good. All right, so let's see here. We might as well train. Come on, ride the train. Level 19 magic user. We'll go ahead and grab some monster summoning. It'd be nice to be able to... I don't know if we can double up on that. But we're sure as shit going to find out. Level 21 fighter on Ember Dew and a 19 paladin. Getting pretty badass, y'all. Getting pretty badass. Let's go over our spells here. I wish she could just drop them here. Um, but I guess this works too. Uh, let's see, cast. So definitely don't need eight resist fire anymore. <laughs> Let's see, these two are already fire resistant. It's a very situational spell. We'll keep two in the bank, I think. Maybe another resist cold. Cure Light Wounds is damn near useless. I'm just going to get rid of that and get some other spells. Uh, cause Blindness. Eh. I don't think we need four dispelled magics. I'm going to try to. Just get a little bit of everything. Cure Serious, on the other hand, comes in a lot more. A lot more help, helpfulness. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of a protection. We also are starting to get protection from evil rings on our characters, so that's not as important. Uh, so exit. All right, so let's get another resist cold. I guess we can try curse. Probably not going to work on these high level guys, but whatever. Um, Snake charm can probably make some cannon fodder with that. We got a lot of. We definitely want some whole person, some silence. I guess let's do another resist fire. Um, spiritual hammer is. That's no fucking good. Let's go with another silence. Remove curse, bestow curse. Sticks to snakes. 
Think some neutralized poison is in order. Blade Barrier is going to end up becoming pretty useful. Uh, because monsters will not willingly jump on it. Flame Strike. Let's get a few of those. What do we got here? Fireball, we love fireballs. Although we don't need as many, we can go with a lightning bolt, I think. Uh, like those. I don't know, magic missile is just so damn useful. <laughs> I, as a matter of fact, I don't even want burning hands. Like, magic missile is just such a great weapon. Protection from normal missiles is not bad. Let's try out double monster summoning. Let's get a mind blank. I gotta have some delayed fireball in my life. Uh, Stunned of flesh, let's go with the disintegrate. Man, let's see what we got here. She's already got a lightning bolt. Okay, I dig that. I don't think we need three iron skin. Maybe one. Mass invisibility, a couple stone of flesh, always good to have them on both of our characters in case one gets stoned and the other isn't. Still a fire touch and a fucking feeble mind. Can never have too many of those. I guess I only have this, so that until we get another eighth level spell. Alright. Keep. Let's rest it up. Gotta rest for a full day in five hours. But we needed to update the spell list. Okay. Did I get round stock? I don't think I did. His spells are... <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Let's give him a, a neutralize just in case. He can maybe get a poison cleric back up if he needs to. All right. Uh, we're going to definitely save on A. No, save on J as our backup. Let's save in the middle also. F for fuck yeah. Okay. And now I think we have to drop a bunch of shit. Let's see. Move on. Uh, we can go to Moander's body, which is where we're going to go. Beyond is the dimension where the elves imprison the slumbering Moanda. I'm sure that you have no problem finding him. Look instead for the Glabrezu Tenata, for he is surely in league with Dark Bane. Remember thy items may be destroyed. Items from the Prime Material Plane can be left safely in storage here. All right. Fuck. Such a pain in the dick. I'm just going to pause and we'll be back. All right, and I believe we can take the
Vorpal Sword with us, so that is the only piece of equipment we have equipped. A monster leads you to the gate. Farewell! The winds of limbo tear at your balls. You find yourself in a deep depression. The sickly hued walls glow weakly. And we still have our Vorpal Sword, so. That's good. That will give us a bit of an advantage here. And we are inside the body of a god. Welcome. Oh, and before I forget, we forgot to read journal entry 56 when we went into the Temple of Transformation in the last video. Beyond the arches, evil groups huddle in rapt contemplation of something to the north. This must be what Shao called the Temple of Transformation, where bits of Moander's body are cleaved away and spill from the vessel of Moander. Devotees of Moander and Bane await their portion. Lost in their worship, no one seems to notice you. This was the, the uh, temple that we got to this place, Moander's body or whatever. It was the last room we were in when we jumped into limbo. So, needed to read that. The wall in front of you has a few footholds. Do you climb out? Yes. There's a large depression here. To one side is a place where you can climb down. Do you enter? No. So here we are on the body of a god. Very cool level. Very fucking cool. Let's start walking around to different places here. Let's head to the foot. Well, let's go ahead and save. Uh, we'll start saving on C. Not a lot of places you can rest here. You stumble upon a human patrol. Let's try this meteor swarm out so I know what the fuck is going on with it. I don't know why you're carrying all that platinum. You don't need it when you're carrying around 203 pieces of jewelry and 1,800 fucking gems. <laughs> um, all right, let's figure out where these fucking guys are. So, just there. Yeah, this is a tactic I should have been using the whole game, especially in these outer realms. It shows you where everybody's at. And I gotta remember that out here the fireballs don't have the same reach. We did not get the instant kill. This is this is gonna be an important all these early battles are important because we need to pick up fucking items again. Whoa! Why is it... <laughs> is it that random? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? Holy shit. I, why was it coming back attacking me? Somebody explain Meteor Swarm because I'm afraid to use that thing again. Fucking terrifying. Just hammered the shit out of the party. <laughs> Just punching the shit out of people.
Yeah, we don't want him to get away. Because we want the cleric shit that he's using. Mail helm. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. It's funny how this early shit is means the world to you. Long sword, plate mail, helm, fidget. I don't know if fidget. I'm still trying to figure out how the, the whole back uh, backstab rule. Let's put him in banded with a helm and a long sword. Clock can wear plate mail with the helm and yeah, we don't have shields so we might as well give that two-handed sword to someone El elixir of youth nice nice um, staff sling no oh, flail staff sling uh, some robe darts bracers uh, Rostock gets the youth potion We'll have Ember do wield a two-handed sword till we find some some better items. Um, how come I can't use that? Let's see if we can get away with resting here. All right, so not impossible on the body. I think it's more in the inner layers where it's going to be more difficult. Already got some more levels here. Scribe. Shocking grasp. We don't have those spells yet. We do now. Um, you saw we had that meteor swarm deal on uh, on the scroll there, which is kind of cool. We got to cast it from a scroll. A wall of flesh rises before you. There seems to be an opening for the down. You enter into the fucking foot of this fucking god. Welcome, friends. You are here to join our cult. Fuck you, no. You will change your mind just as the others did. You will become one with Moanda. Take them to the cells. You ain't taking shit to the cells, bitch. I'm sending you to the nine hells. right fool god damn it I hate it when I do that
Oh, you gonna cast Blade Barrier too? Who the fuck you think I learned that strategy from? I like casting spells from my scroll. I think that's the first time I've done it. This whole fucking game. <laughs> Who is trying to cast? You guys? Negative Ghost Rider. It's like they're trapping us in this weird fucking blade barrier deal. I will punch you right in the dick. Oh, well, I'll cast another magic missile. They're nice to have. <laughs> All right, get him, Lilith. Don't take no shit. Banded male and tridents. Okay. I don't need any fucking gum, so I'm gonna leave the trident and the banded male. Alright, welcome to the foot. We'll start saving on D there. Pretty sure you get interrupted in most of these places. I think you can rest in the ear and the heart at certain areas. We'll figure it out, though. You must join with Moanda. We will teach you the way. <laughs> these annoying fucking farmers, man. Oh, and they're going to come behind me? I don't fucking think so, bro. God damn it, Ron Stock. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that, uh, clock. That's some hefty lightning damage. Oh, you motherfucker. I gotta save Clot.
You better pray, motherfucker. You serious? I don't want to waste my other magic missile on him in case. To try it in some banded mail. A woman is hiding here. The cult was imprisoned them all, sealed them within the walls. Help them, please, before they're transformed. We helped the woman. Oh, thank you, but before you go, take these. My husband gave it to me before he was taken. Scale mail and a scimitar. I believe that's a uh, scimitar plus four, which will be very helpful. Uh, we should probably actually give that to... Well, Ember Dew's using her... Uh, her shield. Armor class minus three. Still minus three. One D eight plus ten. So that must be a might be a plus two or plus three two handed sword. I'm guessing plus three. Uh, Thacko minus two and fidgets is well fidgets is five. Hmm. Fidget actually is 18 100 strength, and Ember is 99, uh, which is a little weaker. Uh, I don't think they would let females have the 100, because this game is a little sexist, but not really. You know, it's, it's actually realistic. Girls shouldn't be physically as strong as men. Sorry if that hurts your feelings, but you can go fuck yourself. In most cases, it's true. Not in all cases. There's a lot of pussy guys out there. More pissed off farmers. God damn, they keep putting them behind us too. Those are getting extremely powerful with... Uh, The level that we're at. Ow. This guy's love that blade barrier. God damn you.
<laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs>
And that's all it's going to take. One D six plus five. One D four plus seven. It's a little harder. Well, it hits better. It's it's. More, I think it's a plus four hammer, but obviously it's only a D four. But she'll hit more often with it. Many of the captain's belongings are thrown into this room. Oh yeah. Long sword of the ring mail are magical. That long sword is plus three. Might be better than what we have. Only one way to find out. The ring mail. Uh, I don't know. I think Fidget has to be in like Elven Chain or Leather to do his backstab. But I don't like the hit that we get on. Our AC for that. So let's see, 1d8 plus nine. So that's plus three long swords, they both are. I believe those are boots of speed. Yeah, you can see our movement went to 18. It's a plus two helm, so we got negative 10 armor. Oh, yeah, and we gotta remember, this is my Vorpal Sword. We gotta always keep that equipped. Trade this to Ember Do, so we can put a shield on her. Not sure that belt does anything. Well, that was a shield plus two. Sorry that we put on Ronstock. We gave a helm plus two to clot. So negative three armor. Zero. We don't want that. One D eight plus ten versus one D eight plus nine. Negative five armor. Negative six. So these are plus one helms. Uh, we don't need any more though. D6 plus 2 versus 1D4 plus 7. Yeah, definitely like the plus 7 more.
and negative six armor. I believe the plate's gonna be better. Yeah. Not sure why I gave you arrows. <clears throat> Let's see what this cloak does. Nothing that we know of. People are encased in Mondo's flesh all along the walls. The others of the cult just spoke of. They struggle to free themselves. Do you help them? You cut the captives free of sticky flesh. The party gains experience. The captives thank you many times. Then with shouts for revenge, they rush from the room. You hear the cult of screams as the captives exact their toll. Now we can leave. And the foot is complete. We do need to move off of it to rest. God damn it. All right. Charge! <coughs> All right, let's see if we can figure out Meteor Storm here. Stay back, everyone stay the fuck back. Stay away from this. That, that worked out better. D8 plus 8. D8 plus 8. Those are the same. D10 plus 9. Yeah, that's, that's definitely nicer for now. Until she gets a shield. Oh, cast bits of Moander on my team. That's nice. Hopefully they stone the fuck out of these guys. So blue, you can see the uh, title of the monster is blue instead of yellow. That's how we know if they're on our team or not. Yes, I was this year's old figuring that out. You got it from behind there. 
I don't think it was a backstab. It was just a flank. <laughs> Love having a ma an extra mage, a third mage on our team. Uh, can't beat it. Yeah, don't fireball. <laughs> Do not fireball into the crowd. Thank you. All right. I'll pick up some gems. Some javi, some mage spells. Oops. Bracers. All right, we got to get off 15 hours of rest without being interrupted. Very good. Save on D and E. Where to now? Can we go into the great god's fucking dick hole? It'd be interesting. I think we're going to head to the arm. Whoops. I didn't even mean to attack, but oh well. Start casting magic fucking missiles, because we know Fireball ain't going to do shit. <laughs> Old monster might be worth trying, and charm monster when they get closer. Let's take this big red fucker out. I hate how that doesn't do the whole party in combat. I don't really understand why.
paralyzed by poison, but was it because he's a dwarf that it didn't kill him? Oh, that's outside. Outside only. Interesting. I wonder if restoration would work on him. Uh, there's no... Fuck it, let's try it. Nope, that's outside only too. So far seems pretty safe. I didn't want <laughs> I didn't want to complete that sentence until I was all done. All right, let's enter the arm. The wound seems fresh and cuts deep into Moanda. Oh, but look at the time. A young man runs up to you. You must help me. I've not seen decent folk for centuries, and now evil has come to my home. It's being destroyed. Let me explain. It's recorded in Journal Entry 27. My name is Egwat. I've lived here for the past 3,500 years, finding the environment most congenial to my health. Recently, however, evil spawn have invaded my home. They're taking huge quantities of Moander's flesh, and I do not know why. It is no longer safe to live here. Not only are the foul creatures constantly about, but Moando's body is beginning to fight back. Bits of flesh prowl the open wounds, and they make no distinction between those causing the harm and me. I cannot hide much longer, yet if I leave, it will mean the end of my extracts and my life in a few short years. Fucking help me! You see my misfortune. After so many centuries, I'm reduced to hiding in shadows. Please rid my home of this plague. Will you help me? I hold the secret to entering Moando's heart. All right, folks, we are going to help out uh, Aguette, or however the fuck you pronounce that name. Uh, we need to clear the arm of its beasties, which is a few different layers. So we'll see you soon. Happy Thursday, everyone. And let's get it on. Let's get it on.